What is going on everyone? It is Super here and I'm bringing you guys another MKX video and today we're going to be showing off some tech with Cyber Sub-Zero. Before I get started, of course, I want to give credit where credit is due. I actually, I don't know who like actually came up with this tech but i learned it from mk rio one of the greatest mk players of all time so i'm gonna leave his channel linked in the description if you guys want to check him out make sure you guys do so um but you know he pretty much posted this and i was like holy shit this looks so cool and this actually you know is very effective um so what you want to do is as a cyber sub zero player you want your opponent in the corner that's where he excels of course he still has very good neutral game uh but i think he is just a complete monster when it comes to you know pressuring your opponent in the corner having him guess even armor breaking which i'll show you guys a little bit later on uh but the whole point of this setup is to let's just say for example you get a forward one three into ice so you could call in your drone if you want by the way and any time that your opponent is frozen except for when you grab because you have to tech roll and then quickly go into your forward four three you could always call in a drone afterwards so just letting you guys know so let's just say I get a forward one three. I go into my back three up four and then dive kick forward four three dive kick. Uh, by the way, whenever you want to do the forward four three, uh, do the close dive kick. It's going to allow you to have more time to go into another forward three, forward four three. And then, um, you know, go into your one 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 two string, which is a hard knockdown. It allows you to get a free ice bomb out. And then from there, you could play around with any of these setups that you guys are showing that I'm showing you guys here. Um, you do a down three. And the reason you do a down three is because if your opponent tries to jump out, you're going to your down three is going to catch him. He's going to fall into the ice bomb and get frozen. If your opponent tries to wake up with buttons, he's going to catch it down three. You're going to have plus frames. You're still going to go for your mix up. And if he blocks it, uh, the bomb isn't going to explode until you are able to do your mix up so he has to hold that uh, because if he does press a button after he blocks you down three he's gonna get caught by the ice ball so all these setups that i'm showing you guys here are pretty much really hard to block you know you go from let's just say i do a back three down four which goes to low low overhead and the overhead hits with the bomb almost at the exact same time so it's insanely hard to block you go down three into instant dive kick and of course the bomb hits low so overhead low uh you could go into down three and uh back three which is going to connect low low you know your opponent might think you're going overhead and at the end of it you could always grab your opponent and the bomb is going to freeze them even if he texts the grab is still going to freeze them of course you tech roll you go into your your forward four three dive kick combo again and start the whole process so this is very strong and uh, next clip i'm going to show you guys here is the armor break potential with this all right so i'm using reptile as an example because he has the fastest armor move in the game six frames um so right here as you guys see you know you do your typical setup if you get a forward one three or if you just freeze your opponent at all um and what you do to armor break is you do a down three into an EX slide and that's gonna hit your opponent multiple times and it's gonna end up freezing him into the bomb afterwards. So you could do a neutral jump punch, forward four three, dive kick, and then start the process over again. It's incredibly strong. So the only way you could get out of this is if you have an invincible armor move. So, it, you know, I was gonna use some uh, smoke as an example because I was training with smoke. But I'm like, Smoke has uh, invincibility frames on his, um, you know, pass over, or I forgot what they call it, Smoke smoke Pass, something like that. Um, but he has an invincibility frame, so he could get out of it. Cassie's EX Nut Punch could get out of it. I don't think even Goro could get out of this because, uh, you know, the down three into EX Slide hits multiple times. I think, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think Goro can get out of it because it's a down three. Yeah, Goro def can definitely get out of this. So, if you have two hits of armor or you have an invincible wake up, you're going to be able to get out of this. But, you know, there are rare occasions when that happens. So, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, of course, uh, you know, thank you to Rio for coming up with this crazy ass tech. His channel will be linked in the description. So, other than that, I will catch you guys next time.